summer craft. Now, today, I've decided it's time to fish my live edge bowl that I turned. I rough turned two months ago. It's been bagged, it's been microwaved, it's been sitting around, and uh, it's now down to about 12% moisture. It's now down to uh, 1,040 grams. It doesn't seem to be really losing much more weight. Okay, so one of the first things I did since I've put my moisture meter on it and I've been weighing it is to uh, s try and figure out how much it's warped change and change shape because it's difficult to just go ahead now and put this right back on the lathe as if you, you know, were just turning a normal bowl because the issue is, now I measured my, my tenon with my digital calipers um, in both directions, with the grain and against the grain, and the difference is about three millimeters. So I have to return that so that it's perfectly round. Now, the actual bowl, this way and this way, across the grain and with the grain, there's a difference of half an inch. So that's why you leave a thickness to the bowl wall so that you can true it up and have enough meat there to make something out of it. So uh, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse chuck this. I'm going to um, true up this tenon so I can finish the outside again because I'm going to have to redo the outside now because of the uh, the shrinkage, and then and then finish the bowl. So stick around and uh, we'll get this thing. Okay, I forgot to turn the camera on, but all I'm doing right now is truing up the tenon, cleaning up the tenon, and then I'm going to come around the outside of the bowl to clean the outside of the bowl. Now again, you want to cut this way from the bark to try to prevent chip out of that bark. Um, once I've got the outside trued up, cleaned up, I will finish the outside completely and then turn the bowl around. Uh, right now I have it in a jam chuck. I have an old piece of wood as a jam chuck. Pretty simple setup really. I have a tenon on this piece of scrap wood, which is going to be a box. It was from a previous project and that's jammed in between that and the tailstock, which is holding this bowl in pretty solid place. It's not moving, so that's good. Um, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to finish the outside first. Just using a square tip carbide cutter to true it up. I want to try to get uh, a three inch tenon, so we're about three and a quarter right now. So even three and a quarter is good. A little bit more to go. And a quick coat of shellac. I like to use as a sanding sealer to get my final cut. Let that soak in the grain and dry. Okay, so I just sharpened my skew. This has been soaking in shellac for 10-15 minutes. It's nice and dry now. 
So I'm going to get a final cut with my skew and just circle around the outside, basically scraping a nice clean finish. Okay, so I've got this sanded down to uh, 320 grit. I'm just going to start applying oil now as I, uh, as I sand, I continue to add oil. Take a look at that. You can see where it's cutting. It's cutting right here, here a little bit. So it, it's definitely got a lot of warpage in it. Take another quick look at that. It's starting to true up. Trying to retain the bark as best I can. I think it's, it's in there pretty good. I just got to be careful. Okay, so I've just been sanding this a little bit. I, uh, I'm going to put some shellac in here just to stiffen the grain up so I can get a good clean sand. Now, I did get a little bit of a crack in the bark in the end grain area here and here. So what I what I did was put some CA glue in there just to to make sure that, that went back into where it was supposed to be, and it should be relatively unnoticeable when it's finished, but uh, right now I'm going to do some, uh, get some sanding done. Okay, at this point I've been sanding it. I've uh, CA fixed this edge here and here and I've got what only can be described as pretty rough tear out on the end grains. So I applied some, I applied some shellac to stiffen the grains and I've been sanding it, um, but it's gumming up my sandpaper as quickly as I apply it. So I think actually what I'm gonna do now is start wet sanding. So I'm gonna apply some oil to this and start wet sanding it. 
going to really show up my uh, tear rail, which is okay because uh, if I can't see it, I can't get rid of it. But I'm definitely going to see some tear rail here, so but I'm okay with that. I need to get rid of that tear rail. I'm going to go with 60 grip. but I can see some beautiful figure in this maple. It's, uh, it's almost curly maple in here. Okay, let's get this thing sanded. Now the problem with this is when you do sand a bowl like this, you're hitting this edge, and this edge, and this edge again. That's the problem with that. So, you almost have to do it by hand. going to take a while. I'll come back later. Okay, so there's the bowl sanded to 1500 grit. It's taken me a long time to get it to where I wanted it. But that's it. So what I'm going to do now is reverse chuck it and remove the tenon, finish the underside. Okay, so I've got this reverse chucked. Now I'm just going to remove as much of the tenon as I can. Leaving a slight indentation for a foot for this.